Biometrics OS is an operating system that you could call the ultimate killer of all Android OS. This is because it offers features that you won't find in any other Android OS. I have tested more than 50 games on this operating system, and based on the results, I can easily say that this operating system is the best so far. This OS comes with gear lock, which means you won't encounter any kind of black screen issue while launching game. And this operating system is completely rooted, so you'll get maximum performance in almost all games. In addition, we will test free fire on this Android OS and towards the end. We will also try to run PUBG to see if it works or not. Talking about the system requirements, they're not particularly demanding. You can install it even on a PC with 1 GB of RAM. But if you plan to play high-end games, you should have at least 2 to 4 GB of RAM. So let's start the video without wasting any time. Let's roll. So I've arrived at my computer screen, and first of all, let me show you the specs of my PC, so that any questions you have regarding system requirements are clear. As you can see, my PC only has 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. As for the graphics card, my PC currently has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics, which is not good for gaming. Let's move on to the installation process now. To install Biometrics OS, you'll need a few things. Firstly, you should have the ISO file. Additionally, you'll need Disk Genius, a boot file, Grub Code, Grub2Win, and also a partition with a size of around 8 GB. All the links for these items can be found on my website. If you encounter any problems or you are unsure how to download the files, I've provided a tutorial link in the description for you to check out. First, we'll install Grub2Win. For that, you need to extract the zip file of this software. After that, go to the extracted folder and launch the setup. Since this is an offline setup, it should install easily. You'll see a setup option below. Simply click on it. Then, Grub2Win will be installed in just a few seconds. Now, let's install Disk Genius. If you already know how to install it, you can jump to the next chapter. After installation is complete, uncheck both boxes and click on the Finish button. Now, go back to the extracted folder and copy these two files. If your PC is 64-bit, copy the 64-bit files. And if it's 32-bit, copy the 32-bit file. After copying, open the main directory of Disk Genius and paste these files here, replacing the existing ones. Then simply launch Disk Genius. After launching it, you'll see several partitions in front of you. You just need to select the partition that is completely empty. Once you've selected the partition, right-click on it and choose the Format option. After that, you'll see an interface like this where you need to select EXT4 and type any name in the volume label. Then click on the Format button and your partition will be successfully formatted. After that, you need to enter this partition. Right-click and create a new folder here and in the, in the name section type OS. Remember, you have to use this exact name, otherwise your OS won't boot. After that, you need to enter this folder and create another new folder here, which you'll name the folder in lowercase as data. Then minimize Disk Genius. Next, you need to extract the Biometrics OSISO file. Since the file size is a bit larger, it will take some time to extract. After extracting the files, copy all of them and paste them into Disk Genius. Your files will start copying. Once the copying is done, drag and drop the boot file into Disk Genius. Alright, our work with Disk Genius is done, and now we'll launch Grub2Win. After launching Grub2Win, you'll see an interface like this. Now, click on Manage Boot menu below. You'll see an entry already created at the top, which you need to delete. After that, click on Add New Entry and then select Submenu in the Type section. In the Title section, type Biometrics. Then, you'll see an option to edit custom code below. Simply click on it. Then, open the Grub Code file and copy all the text from there. After that, paste this text here. Then, save it and click on the Apply button. Alright, the installation process has been successfully completed and now we'll restart the PC and record the rest of the process with a hand cam. As soon as you restart the PC, you'll see a boot menu where you need to select Grub2 for Windows. After that, select Biometrics OS and press Enter. Then, press Enter again. As soon as you press Enter, the installation of GearLock will start and it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Many people might be a bit confused seeing GearLock, so let me give you a small example to clear up any confusion. For example, 
Suppose you have two operating systems. One is a simple version of Phoenix OS, and the other is a modded version with GearLock installed. Now, if you install 100 games on the simple version, only 10 or 15 of them might work properly, while the rest may crash or encounter black screen issues. However, if you install these same games on the OS with GearLock installed, all 100 games will work perfectly without crashing or encountering any black screen issues. All right, GearLock has been installed, and now the loading process has started, which will take about one to two minutes to complete. So, friends, our OS has been successfully installed. And as you can see, it's incredibly fast. Talking about its features, you'll find two key mapping software in this Android OS. One is the old one, while the other one is Panda Key Mapper, which is a paid key mapping software. Speaking of the Android version, this Android OS comes with Android 7, which is fully compatible with any low-end PC. Moreover, this Android OS is completely rooted, so you'll get maximum performance in almost all games. Additionally, the Wi-Fi is working perfectly in this OS. As for the App Store, you won't find the Play Store in this OS instead. You'll have the Aurora App Store from where you can easily download and install any game. All right, let's quickly install Free Fire. I've already downloaded both the Free Fire, a PK, and OBB files, and I'll provide you with the download links as well. First, we'll install the Free Fire, a PK, and then once it's installed, simply launch it. After launching it, you will encounter this error. Close Free Fire and then navigate to the drive where you downloaded the Free Fire OBB file. From there, you need to copy this OBB file and paste it into the same directory where I'm pasting it. After that, you need to go to the Start menu and launch Panda Gamepad Pro. Then, click on the plus icon and add Free Fire. Free Fire will launch automatically. As you can see, Free Fire has successfully launched without any errors. Here, you'll also find pre-built key mappings, so you don't need to manually adjust key mappings. Now, I'm in the lobby, and the game is working perfectly without any lag. Before starting the match, I will recommend that you set the overall graphics of the game to smooth for better performance during gaming. All right, the match has started, and as you can see, I'm getting around 25 to 30 FPS. The key mapping is also working perfectly. You can customize the key mapping according to your preference if you want. The game performance is quite good. If I had left the graphics on default settings, the game would lag a lot. That's why I recommend playing the game with low graphics settings for a smoother experience. So, as you all saw, I was able to run Free Fire on my PC without any errors. Now, let's install PUBG Mobile and see if it works or the not. The installation process is just like how we installed Free Fire. After installing it, when I launched PUBG Mobile for the first time, the game launched and the key mapping was working fine. However, when I tried to log in, I couldn't because, as usual, the PUBG servers were busy. I tried several times but couldn't log in. Alright, we've reached the end of the video. I just want to say, make sure to follow all these steps carefully. And if you encounter any problems at any step, you can contact me on Instagram or Facebook. The links are in the description. Installing this OS may be a bit challenging, but if you're looking for an OS that's super easy to install and allows you to play a lot of Android games, then click on the video on the left. And I'll see you there. Bye.